so hello everybody welcome back to the video this is Walvi and today we're going to do a preview for Tony Wilson Hall of Fame so yeah I was out for like many weeks or like I think it's first voiceover video of this year like like it's been a long time I didn't do a voiceover video so I decided to do a voiceover video but this time I'm going to do for Tony Wilson Hall of Fame uh, at six dollars Scopely didn't give the color creators the Tory Wilson Hall of Fame 6 star version so they have to work on them so, so I decided maybe I should make it that because I totally make 6 star this Tory Wilson 6 star for you for this preview so this is my Tory this is not the content creators one and I'm not a content creator for Scopely so purely disclaimer for all of you so She's a trickster and she's at 6 star for the card. I see at 26k crossback gems to 100% or more damage. Very useful for uh, Ray Mysterio and other guys. Links with the Hall of Fame and the gears. They didn't give out any of the gear, but the gear does plus 2 color, all color MP and the silent gem does 200% more damage. So the gold gear is necessary for the silent gems one. So let's go for the first move set, and I think it is the most reliable move set that you can work on her. The move set you can unlock at four star. The loose dash press, which makes five by five area to make into two gems. The timing crossbody. Actually, this move has been changed. If you see the current creators, uh, from uh, Lee, who is from the champions chest. Shout out to Lee, uh, from my faction mate. He is. So he has uh, he has shown us as the increase the strength of the lead gems actually. But they have changed it and make it the bonus damage for every lead gem. So you're gonna do some bonus damage for every lead gems with the diving cross body. So you can buff that up with the trainers and coaches. And we have the falling DDT, which is a combo move, which does which makes five by five area to make into pyro gems, which will modify all gems above it into lead gems of strength 71.4k and it will deal 58k damage more and we choose five gems to make into red so that means first you're gonna make those pyro gems and then that will you can choose those gems into red gems so you can just match in those and create your red gems to make to reload your loose that press and then you can use the bonus damage one and you just put down this five by five area into lead gems and you can just do some bunch of damage with this so yeah, that is what this moveset makes it. For the trainers and coaches, I don't have most reliable trainers and coaches for the legions, but whatever I have, I'm going to use it. I'm using Lolo for blue MP. I'm using Wesley for 75% extra uh, legion damage. You can also use uh, Hall of Fame Ray. You can use Veer Mahan. Uh, there is like uh, so other also I just don't remember. But yeah, there, there are some options you can go with. But I have Wesley and everybody has Wesley. So you can just go with. I'm using set for 25% extra. And quit one extra which doesn't care about. But I do care about that 25%. You can use like Tech Bailey for 12,000. You can use a Trickster Theory. Which is I think best one you can go with. With the 100% lead gem damage. I don't have him. So I'm using a whole it's like Empress the Vision set. And going with King Seamus for 12,000. You can still go with the Hogan, but I personally like Seamus to use it because you're gonna just make those 5x5 five five right into blue gems. So you need as much blue gems as damage as you can. For the strap, I'm going with the like uh, Rainmaker strap. So I'm going with all Fury medals. Just ignore that skill plate, doesn't care any, any less. I don't have those skill plate chips, so that's why it's there. Uh, Otherwise, you can for the skill plays you can use like like Piper's Piper's plate uh, that will work. Uh, there's like tribute to the troops plate would which will work which will recycle. But I think recycling not is not going to be any problem. The damage can be the problem for you. So we are going against China and yeah she can destroy me yeah. So let's see if it, if she can. So first use the flooring DDT to make those. Put down here and yeah instantly you're gonna choose those so be careful to do it because sometimes it can cascades it happens to me many times so I'm just all right this time it didn't cascade which is perfect 
and we gotta do 119 for every week gems. Let's see how much she can do damage with this. So it does 3.5 which is not bad but it was not that impressive also. So let's put down this and let's see how much she can do damage with the lead gems. 2.9 like almost 3 million not bad but not as good as you can see. I'm gonna fast forward this one because it's gonna take a lot of time. Alright, we are back and I'm gonna put down here basically because yeah, this is better because we have that wildcard gem. Mm. Oh boy, I'm stuck. I do really stuck with this. Oh boy. It is in the middle, so I'm, I'm kind of scared with this. Let's see. Let's try this. I'm not sure. Yeah, it does cascade. I thought she's going to guess get this all the trap gems, but it did it. It did it. Yeah, that's 1.7. I think she's going to be over because she has a lot less health right now. And let's put down here because we have more lead gems here. And we're gonna heal ourselves after this. And yeah, we heal full. 1.9. I hope she's not going to get it. Oh out from this yeah she did it so yeah you see like we had a trouble but we still managed to like get a win against this sometimes it could work well but sometimes it couldn't so it's all depends on the bonus damage for lead gem so if you have great trainers than me set so, so you can just use those or what I have is the free ones like I we do 100% damage with that so definitely it's good you can like use it for like uh, recycle for like do some more damage plus you heal yourself because that's the lead gems so let's see the alternative one at for the 6 star version uh, what she can do alright so let's go for the second moveset what I'm going to show you we just to replace that with the the diving cross body with the back body draw which is the 6 star move which is let you choose six gems to make into multiply gems of strength six. So we're gonna create some more uh, of those. So for the trainers and coaches, we are going over with the Lawler for blue MP. Uh, like I put dumb butch there in the graphic, you can see, but I decided to choose like Lawler with that. I'm using Marsh for creating five more multiplier gems. Uh, like Stacy for twelve thousand and Seamus for twelve thousand for red and blues respectively. So let's try this. I don't know how it's going to work, but let's see if if she, it if it works, it works. I put down here and just match this, and you hope that you don't cascade. You did it perfect. I'm gonna use this. I don't know if it, it's going to work or not, but let's try it. Put down some of this here because we're going to uh, make some of those into blues. And like, let's see, it does 128. Let's see how, if, how much it, it can do. I'm still not sure if, if it is going to work, but let's try. If this works, then it's good. Otherwise, 
not essentially bad but not that useful one I see. we are back so I'm gonna put down in on the upper side because we have the white card in here let's try if, if this works or not who I think yeah that still works well I'm gonna put down more of those anti blue gems because that's going to blow up. Let's see if this works. <laughs> that does 3.3 .3 million. A slightly higher and yeah that's so works also. So yeah, this works, but I'm not recommending you to use this because... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I, I'm not gonna re recommend you to use this because that, this is more complicated to use it uh, than the first moveset. So, let's see what the other moveset works. Alright, so let's use the third moveset for Tori Wilson. So the completely different moveset we are going with is the Nose Chop which does uh, which makes silence gems in 35 silence gems into red gems which is a finisher the armbar submission generates 45 random submission gems does 168k damage for two turns and the remaining gems will convert into the silence gems the handspring back elbow which is choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gem that will increase the purple mp by four and after that it's going to increase the damage of all the gems by 75 percent for two turns so for the for the trainers and coaches i've changed a bit you can see the graphic that is like completely different and the the trainers and coaches i'm using is the completely different why the because i've used this moveset quite a lot of times and I fail to do it every single time because my juggernauts are like overlapping and they are like those submission gems are covering my juggernaut gems so that's why I've taken this I'm using uh, words for purple MP I'm going with zombie proc for increasing the sub turns by 3 and plus does 20% I'm going with uh, Nikki Bella trickster for 53% submission I'm going with Stacy for 12,000 why I'm increasing the turns of the submission is because she is making 45 and if we had 45 gems then our juggernaut gems would overlap there those and i've tried it every single time it uh, doesn't work with the less submission turns and if she uh, destroys 60 percent or 40 percent like whatever uh, percentage amount of submission gems i made then it's quite okay because we are going to generate again and again of those and for that reason it's not going to overlap and i hope it's not going to be let's try this against china well, we are here and let's try this. I hope it's going to work because I didn't try it. It's the first go for me. You see, she makes 45. That means she's going to cover a whole board. And yeah, she destroyed quite a bit. And let's let's see if, if this this works or not. And the hell if she if it doesn't work then that's that's bad that's bad for me <laughs> hope this works no it doesn't yeah you see that still overlaps every single of those my joker not gems Those juggernaut gems still overlaps my uh, all of those, and I'm still going to use the finisher, making that happen. Yes, she almost hit, hit 
characters and yeah you can use like the skill plate called as uh, Camblin's ear for increasing that uh, red gem damage for doing that that's going to still works I think now it's going to work pretty well if I'm not wrong uh, it's still it still cover up my or uh, those juggernaut gems every single time so yeah it's still not working that great with the submission yeah but the submission does a lot more damage in this case just fast forward because I'm not going to bore you if for this match Well, I think now it's going to work now. Now I think it's going to work. Let's see. Yeah, now it works. So now it does 57 with this. Let's see now how much she's gonna do it. does a little bit of damage not bad not that good let's this is over so you see it doesn't working that really great but yeah if you can see like uh, for the feuds and for the showdowns you will definitely use butch instead of using uh, boots i will still make a video for the sh showdowns and for feud if that works for the for that side then it's good but yeah for the chores it's not working so yeah let's try another different variation for this let's try the final move set for tory wilson hall of fame this is again a small variation so I've, uh, I've just erased that uh, submission and I'm using the snap swinging neck breaker which makes 5 by 5 to make into silent gems so yeah this is going to work a bit well for this and the trainer sync coaches I'm using Nikki ASH for 12,000 and Johnny Gargano for 15% extra from silence let's see how much it's going to do and I guess I have to use this prop I don't like to use props, but I still I think I have to. Down the street with your red lips and funky beat. You better hold your head up to the sky. I'm gonna roll with you to the day I die. Alright, so let's make those five by five. Let's make that juggernauts. And for you guys, I'm going to just use that uh, this so that you can see how much uh she can do with that with the double stacks i'm going to make one more I'm going to wait for another turn with this. And let's try again. Make a bunch of those into silence. Let's see how much we can stack up that. I think now I have to use it. Yeah, now it does 140, 146. Let's make here, and now I'm going to use the finisher. Let's see how much she can do now. <laughs> I'm not sure how much she's going to do, but let's see if it's going to work or not. 
five six million damage. Well, yeah, that that still works pretty well. Yeah, that works. So yeah, this uh, definitely works pretty well than the submission does. So yeah, definitely you can use this one than to use the submission. Yeah, of course I just use the prop, but uh, just to show you how much you can do damage with the like. Uh, with this one instead of using the submission because submission is going to oh, submission is like overlapping every single thing so using submission is not good that much but yeah for doing uh, defensively damage that's still good so let's wrap up the video now all right so that's all about Tori Wilson Hall of Fame so you see how she is like for the first to say I say you like the lead James one that's that still works pretty well like you you, if you have those key key player key uh, trainers and coaches everything then probably that moves it could work more than what I uh, tell you about it so that's that's the best one you can go with uh, with the move set otherwise the last move set I show you with the uh, snap swinging neck breaker which makes five by five area into silent gems that one was like destroyed china a lot more so i guess that's the move set that you should go instead of using submission submission is also good but uh you can go with like if you are doing the defensive stuffs then you can go with the submission otherwise i don't think so you should go with the submission because that doesn't doing much damage than this move set does i was also shocked that this does six million damage uh, with the gear you can just expect how much it can do because with the silence gems does 200 percent damage with this move set I think she's going to crack it like 10 millions or so damage with that thing. So yeah, that is the pretty much it for this move set or this video for Tori Wilson. So I'm going to make for the showdowns and for feud also. And if I got something better move set for her, then definitely I'm going to make a video for it. But it's not going to be voiceover videos after this. This is the only voiceover video I made for Tori Wilson, probably the last one. I'm not sure how, how long I'm going to make the voiceovers, but whenever I I want it then I'm gonna do it so yeah that is it for this video I think you guys uh, get it now how Tori Wilson does at six stars so I just made it for you so that you will know how she works exactly at six star with the hollow stars also so yeah that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you didn't like this video please leave a like share with this video subscribe to the channel I know I was out for some time but yeah I was not feeling well still but I still make this video so yeah that is it for this video and see you in the next video till then. Be peace.